Meghan Markle set to fight back against Piers Morgan in spiteful verbal match. Meghan Markle and Piers Morgan are involved in a spiteful verbal boxing match. Piers Morgan has recently spoken out in his first major TV interview since leaving Good Morning Britain. Talking to Fox News' Tucker Carlson, the former GMB presenter defended the stance he took on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's bombshell sit-down with Oprah Winfrey. Piers told the Fox News host that he did not believe 17 of the claims made during the couple's interview last month, leading Palace insider Angela Levin to insist Meghan will want to fight back. Ms. Levin told talk radio's Mike Graham, I think it is a bit like a verbal boxing match. Each of them wins a round and the other one comes back and is more spiteful or more difficult or says more things. They have one thing in common and that is neither of them likes to lose out. So they carry on batching away. The royal biographer continued, I imagine that the lawyers are working out if there's a sentence or a verb or something that Pierre said that they could jump on. So I think it is a bit precipitous actually to say she hasn't come back yet. She is a very determined woman heavily pregnant or not, she will want to fight back. It comes after Mr. Morgan told Tucker Carlson, I still not believe what they were saying, in particular, I do not believe what Meghan Markle is saying. Seventeen different claims by the pair of them have now been proven to be completely untrue or massively exaggerated or unprovable. I did not believe Meghan Markle and a huge furor erupted through the day. I was in outrage. I was not allowed to have an opinion that I did not believe what she was saying. Even though it was clear to me in real time as I was watching the interview that there were a number of things that could not be true. On his departure from ITV, Pierce said, I had a good chat with ITV and we agreed to disagree. He added, I believe in freedom of speech. I believe in the right to be allowed to have an opinion. If people want to believe Meghan Markle. That's entirely their right. I don't believe almost anything that comes out of her mouth and I think the damage she's done to the British monarchy and to the Queen at a time when Prince Philip is lying in hospital is enormous and frankly contemptible. If I have to fall on my sword for expressing an honestly held opinion about Meghan Markle and that diatribe of bilge that she came out with in that interview, so be it.